Morning everybody. Gavin, Jonquil here in Atlanta. Got a fun one today. Got a customer I've been taking care of a couple years. Pretty simple solution. You can see he's here in the house behind me. He's got a gate, but he needs some extra parking. So we had been uh, talking about the last couple months over the winter to figure out what we wanted to do and what our options were. And he owns a little piece of property here on the other side of the driveway. So we took the initiative to uh, give a quote and put a, like, a little parking pad in. So we just started it, or I just started it. We uh, just started laying kind of like the dimensions out. I gave him a quote, it's gonna be 20 by 16, but because of the way the driveway is, we can't put it in on like a straight 90 off the driveway. It's gotta be kind of on a shallow angle. I put down about a 30, 35 degree angle, which is gonna work out perfect. But uh, filled with timbers as a border, just four by four timber, simple. We got 12 inch stakes, put those in the ground. I've got to do a little grading, um, kind of get these boards level, make sure we're good there. Put our fabric down, go get our crushed stone. Uh, we're gonna use a 57 stone, perfect. I've used it at my house, good half inch, three quarter inch, just granite stone, uh, economically, priced right I mean for a parking pad this is all I want so I'm sure we're working with I'm sure it. check it out all right so people in other areas of the country here in Atlanta a lot of times well especially now because they're knocking down older homes and putting in these newer homes called these uh, common driveways right so we've got a house here but they've got their own driveway but these two homes here share this driveway I'm standing on so again, he, they can't just park cars on the driveway because they're blocking these people back here. So we decided to put this parking pad in there. It'll work out great. So when you come up the drive, he just redid this fence, put an automatic gate in, which is nice, right? So we, we do regular maintenance on his. We've done this for years, but uh, this is the parking pad here. So like I said, I got the, kind of put my pins in just to kind of get my markings and my angles. Um, you know, with the, the four by fours, obviously I got to get it right because <laughs> I got all the timbers. I can't overshoot it and then I can't grow a timber. So I had to make sure we had this right, measured it, put the spikes in, measured twice, cut once type of thing. Everything's good. We'll put the fabric down, but I've got to cut the boards just to get them angled on the corners, right? Make sure they get a nice tight fit. I got a stump right here in the middle. It's like an old tree come out I'm not gonna dig that thing out I'm gonna dig around it a couple inches I'm gonna get the chainsaw and I'm gonna stump that thing as close as I can to the ground without chewing up my chainsaw and ruining the chain getting it in the dirt and crap but we'll get that finished like I said I got uh, 3 8 uh, 12 inch spikes we'll put these in all the timbers all the way around get it nice and supportive we'll put I got a big roll of fabric, six foot fabric, three runs of that, one, two, three, staple it down. And then again, we'll go get our crushed stone, but this is it, pretty simple. Fix an issue he's got, this will be a day project, no questions asked. So it's 10 o'clock now, I'm just getting started. I ran to Home Depot earlier, got these timbers, got what I needed, and then, uh, it was cold this morning. I mean, you couldn't get on any yards. It was 20, 23 this morning. It was chilly. So typical the way it's been the last couple. But today's Wednesday, so it's supposed to warm up. They say by Saturday or Sunday, it's supposed to be like 72 degrees. If you guys aren't familiar with Atlanta, dude, the weather here jumps all the time. It's the only place I know of where you gotta bring a winter coat, wear sunscreen, and then fight allergies all in the same week. You know, I don't, I don't get it. But we'll get working on this. Stay tuned. I'll keep updating as we're, uh, as I'm getting this along. Give you guys updates. So check it out. All right, guys and gals, got this cut to get our angle. And here's a little tip. Use what you got. I didn't bring my circular saw. Just use chainsaw. It's a big deal. Speed square. Get your angle. Square it up. You'll be good to go. So, two down, two to go. 
and then uh, we'll get uh, we'll get rolling with the fabric. Or actually, we're gonna uh, put some spikes in it first. I got another little tip for you guys too. All right, gonna uh, take a break, go catch some lunch. But I uh, wanted to catch up. Made a mistake. Nobody's perfect. Neither am I. Okay. So I made my measurements. Everything was accurate. But <laughs> whoops. Yeah. When I put, I put these posts in on the corner and I put these sides in, I measured them. And then when I installed them, I, I installed them outside to outside. So I'm short three and a half inches. <laughs> so we'll fix it. I'll tweak one of these. I'll tweak one of these over. See, because I got all the cuts. And then worked out good. All the cuts angled. And then here was my tip. So I got my DeWalt drill, right? These spikes are 3 8 right? Went in with, didn't want to get too close to it because I, I, I definitely wanted it to hold. But I just went in with a quarter inch bit, pre drilled them. Way easier than railing them in without it. Because the problem is, is when you put them in and you start railing on it, dude, those bolt boards vibrate and move like hell. So it's nice to pre-drill it. You can see spikes, nice clean finish. On the eight footers, I got them on each end, about a foot off of the ends, which is good. Same there, and then my 10 footer across the back, I put about a foot off of the ends, and then I put another one in the middle, just because the board's a little longer. Doesn't hurt, so. That's that. Stay tuned. We'll keep rolling when I get back. All right, y'all. Update here. So we got the boards in. Got the fabric down. Everything's going according to plan, just as we expected. I got the uh, the fabric down. Six foot wide fabric. Ran it across. You can see it's layered. I overlapped probably a good foot on the first course and because I was running up against the back back here. Overlapped it probably a good two feet to be honest. But, oh, this one out of here. You can see the curve isn't straight. I got a big wrinkle in it. Let's deal with that. You can see all the bores, all down, all angled out. Everything looks real good. So, I'm gonna run to the supply yard. Go get, uh, called for six tons but we'll get this thing laid out I'll get it finished up by myself today so go get the dump trailer get rolling stay tuned also for those that are wondering when I'm putting down this fabric this isn't the plastic stuff don't bother with the plastic stuff this is a fibered uh, weed barrier and this serves two purposes for the drive obviously one help with the weeds um, and two, since this area is more natural, it won't get parked on a lot, but it'll help the stone from disappearing as you get traffic, cars running over it. When it gets real wet, people drive on it, squishes down into the mud, it disappears. So this will help with that, but uh, we'll get rolling. Stay tuned. All right, next update. We got half of the stone done. Went to the yard, dump trailer. Picked it up, that's half. She's good and thick. That's what I wanted to make sure we got. So we'll go back to the yard, bring truck, dump trailer, load the dump up, one more trip. We'll get finished. All right, another update. Back from the dump. It's tight, man. I'm trying to get here through the, uh, through the gate. It's real tight, but we got this done. This should pretty much cover what we need to, and then I've got about another ton inside still that I'll spread out and thicken up. But uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. By myself, it's kind of tough. I got the chains, chains on the gate, but still, it doesn't matter. I'm not trying to hit anything, and of course, I hit this board already, backing it in. I mean, it's just it's tight. You really gotta be able to control the trailer, so. I'll update once we're all done. All right, so we just got finished. Just finished, we, I, again, sorry. Um, gravel's done. Uh, five tons, 57. Again, 
the dimensions were 20 by 16. We got the fabric down. We got everything staked in. We got everything angled. Nice tight joints. Everything worked out. So check it out. That's it. 20 by 16. So, customer had an issue. We fixed it. Good parking pad. Should fit two cars comfortably at an angle. Because again, in the beginning, I told you, not a good good area. But that's it. So on to the next one. Next time. Be good.